So let's get right into this stitch fix. A little bit of information. This is a fashion box, a clothing box for women, men, and kids. Um, this is a monthly box. I refer to it as a subscription, but it truly is not. This is basically, I think you can get these boxes on demand. You could get it every two weeks, every month, if you want it, you know, every three months, you can, you know, change the delivery of your box. There is a $20 styling fee, excuse me, per box. Um, if you have the style pass, you pay $49 for the style pass. It is good for uh, 365 days and you no longer pay the $20 style fee. The $49 is a credit back to you in your next box. And it's almost like a forever credit. You can use it for more than one box. You don't, you know, if you don't like anything in your next box, you don't lose that. That's a credit that you can use in future boxes where the styling fee is a use or lose. Um, buy what you love, send back the rest. You get a prepaid envelope and this is USPS to return anything you don't love. You have three days to decide. Uh, the day you receive your box is bo uh, day one. I always immediately upon receiving my box, which I just received this yesterday, I think, I extend it out like an extra week or so beyond what they allow, just so I have time to film, edit, share it with you guys, wait for opinions to come in and what you guys think before I make my final decisions and then by the time I can get to the post office. So I always give myself like that week or so um, cushion and you can extend that too. It's in the checkout process. You just click checkout, but don't go into the checkout. Scroll down and you'll see extend your return date. Um, you keep all five items. You receive a 25% discount. You do check out online. You give them as much detail on what you're keeping and what you're sending back and why for both. I do believe that helps. They do have a style shuffle every 24 hours that you can do on their um, website or on their app to um, basically help the algorithm choose items for you. It's, you know, five, six categories and like this top might come up. Do you like this top? Do you like, you know, and it's not just, do you like the top? Do you like the color? Do you like the style? Do you like the pattern? A whole bunch of things um, I happen to, and this is, um, you know, one of the tops that I kept. I kept the olive and the purple and sometimes I'll just right below because it has the like the pouch, the seat, the pouch pocket. Sometimes I'll just flip that up and it will stay because I can tuck it in my jean pockets. And then this way it's not as long in the front, but I, you know, just hanging, I'm hanging around today. Didn't do the hair. It's pretty straight. It's been flat ironed a few times. So I figured, ah, you guys have seen me at some of my worst days. So in that white envelope, you do get your invoice. I think this is 58 if I'm not mistaken. 58 I will need that so I will leave that out and then you get a card that says oh hello and this is your uh, stylus note and then the items that you're receiving in the middle ish with a little bit of style um, styling help if you need it I still do have Taylor which is nice so I'll put the pricing underneath so I'm not seeing what the prices are and I did notice on a few of these this way that the um, the focus was a little off. So I'm going to try to be careful to stay still. So this is the bundle that you receive right here, right here. And I'm just going to put this back here, open it, because I know if I move forward, it might um, try to grab me moving. So I want to try to stay as still as possible. And let's just see what the first item is. This is from the North Face Woman Woman's S slash S. What does that mean? I don't know what S. Whatever. Graphic Injection Tea Burgundy and Medium. I'll let you guys see it first. And it just says the North Face, right? Never stop exploring. It's not bad. I'm, I generally don't like logo tops like this. Here, let's get this out of the way. It's nice and soft, regular, you know, t-shirt, collar, neckline, I should say. Here's the back. There's a little North Face logo. And I will be right back and we'll try the first top on. So I have the first top on. Where is it on this paper? 
the North Face Graphic Injection Tea. Burgundy Medium, $30 for a t-shirt. That's a little pricey. I know it's North Face. It's so soft. The fit is perfect. I, you know, it's it's like a sometimes t-shirts in the past for me have just been like choky. Well, I've noticed lately that they're not. So whether they're being cut different, the cut is perfect. I think the fit is, is phenomenal. Here's a little side shot in the back. Don't mind the hair, people. Like I said, didn't bother. Um, I like this. $30 seems like a lot of money. I know it's North Face, but this is nice and soft. Um, could, can, could wear this now with a cardigan um, and wear it in the spring and the summer and even into fall. Um, I like the color. It's not, it's more like a pink, like a mauve burgundy, not like a deep burgundy. So that's not bad. Like I said, $30 seems like a little bit much for me. I'm just going to, maybe I will open this up and just put this here. And let's see. So this is not bad. I like this. So let's see what the next one is. This is 41 Hawthorne Kiana Roll Tab Knit Top Dark Gray Medium Petite. I have told them so many times I don't like roll tab sleeves. I just, and this, these aren't bad. Um, this is medium petite, I think. Did I say that? I'm not for sure. Medium petite. This is not bad. This is a dark gray. Um, yeah, dark gray. It's a nice little, like, blousey, like a little dressier. Here's the roll tab. These usually fall nice, but I still, I have one like that. It's not my favorite. Here's the back. There's a pleat down the center. Um... The material's not bad. I mean, this would look nice. I mean, it still would look nice with jeans. Um, I would probably wear like grayish jeans or black jeans, maybe. I don't necessarily know what I think about the blue jeans, but let's give this one a try and see what I think. The next top is 41 Hawthorne Kiana Roll Tab Knit Top. It's going to be expensive. Dark gray, medium tea, $40. Okay. I'm just going to leave these here. This is not, I like it. I was surprised. This, you can, you know, roll these up. I think just letting them fall is a nice feature. Um, they do not come down and you cannot remove these because the way the stitching is, I tried on my other one. It's more like a, I think a white background with black, like squares, real tiny, like almost polka dot, but they're black like rectangles and it. it's a beautiful blouse. I just don't wear it that often. This one, because it's not that dressy, like chiffony material, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. This would be good with dress pants. If I wanted to dress it up, the neck, the V neck is perfect. I don't like to expose anything to show the girls off. So I'm pretty modest. So this is perfect. Um, there's a little pleat in the front too, which I didn't notice, which is good because sometimes that hides a little bit of action in the front. Um, here's the side shot. So you can see that it curves up and then here's the back. And that pleat just helps with movement in the back. There's plenty of room. I like this. Now, I could wear this dark gray leggings, black leggings, really just a gray. I have a dark, two pair of really dark gray leggings. I really don't wear them that much, but I could, and it just, you know, put a cute little booty on or even just a sneaker and just dress it up a little bit, but you're not wearing a, a like a blouse, even though it looks like one, but it's not that blouse material. I always don't, I don't mind the length in the back generally. I don't always like it in the front because it, it shortens me. So what I do, if I have jeans on or even sometimes with leggings that have the side pockets, I take a little bit of the shirt and tuck it in to the pockets and then just take this up and it does stay believe it or not and does not I mean I would fix it better in front of a mirror but then you can see my entire leg and therefore it doesn't I don't feel like I'm being cut off here and you only see a portion of my leg you see my whole leg so sometimes I do that even with leggings um, and I definitely do it with jeans if I can um, like I said, I would fix this much better. And then you still have your, you know, your long in the back, which I could tuck the whole thing and just pull it out and blouse it, which I have done with some of my tops that are a little too big this way. 
not too bad on length, but then tucking them in, I can sort of cross it, you know, put a crease in it and get rid of some of the bulkiness to still wear some of the tops that are, are too big for me. Um, the mediums are seem to be pretty perfect medium. Petite is even better. So I could wear it that way. Or, you know, if I had leggings on, I probably would leave it out. Um, jeans, you know, if I'm just casual and just about, I don't care. But if I was going somewhere, I might put on a black jean and I would definitely tuck it. And I could front tuck it and just blouse it over a little bit. Um, but I like this too. And this is $40. It's not horrible for 41 Hawthorne. I have quite a few of their tops. But I really do like this. So that's not bad. Next is Soul and Sky. I don't think I've ever heard of them. I mean, I might have. I don't think so. Cold weather brushed quarter zip top, teal green in a medium. Jen, I have I have a few of these, and these are not always my favorite. This has a lot of stretch and give to it. It does have the thumb hole here for your thumb, which I do like. You know, it is like a heathered material. Are there pockets of any kind? I see a zip. Let me see. Is that a pocket? Nice little zipper. So we have a pocket. Obviously both sides. So let's unzip. Hopefully both sides. No, it's just the one side has a pocket. That is odd. So just the right hand side has a pocket. Huh. I mean, that's not horrible. Generally, and this comes way down. This one zips way down in the front. So if you wanted to put like a tank underneath of it or even it like a t-shirt and throw this on over top, you could or wear it as is. It does have a banded bottom, which I don't know, oh, and slits. So that might be okay. So let's, let me hold this up properly. Kind of, if I can. So let's give this top, a, this probably, and this could be a top, doesn't have to be an outerwear. Let's give this a try. So this is Soul and Sky Cold Weather Brush Quarter Zip Top. I don't have any idea on the price on this. Dark green medium, $48. Okay. Uh-oh. What do I see over there? Uh-oh. Taylor. Wait till I see. Thumbs. Sleeves are a little bit long for me. I mean, my fingers are up here above the, the ribbing, but, I, you know, that, once again, can be handled. I don't need the thumb hole. Like, I could cuff it up and do all that stuff just to take the bulk out. I generally don't. Like, if I'm just ha casual hanging around, the long sleeves don't, the longer sleeve does not bother me as much as if it's too long lengthwise. Drop shoulder, so the shoulders all the way down here. Sometimes that gives you more movement and more freedom to move. Um, I like that you could stand the collar up if you want, lay it down if you want, however you want the zipper all the way up if it's super cold. If um, you know you have a tank underneath, if you wanted to lower it, you can. I you know just have my undergarments on, so it's up. You know, you could still have a nice necklace on. The fit is nice. The banding does not bother me because of the slit right here. Here's the back. It's really not bad. I think this is a little weird, the pocket, because the pocket is like on the side seam. So it's almost like you're reaching back for the pocket. Like I wish it was more forward. And it's not on this side. It's just on the right hand side. But I guess if you wanted to throw, you know, your debit card, your driver's license, like a house key, um, a lipstick, a gloss, something in there and zip it up. Um, you know, I guess you could. Um, I don't foresee me really, if I were to keep something like this, that I would use that. So that's kind of a waste. If it was on both sides, then you can kind of put your hands in, but it's not. I think the length is fine. Now, if this didn't have the slit, it might be a little too grabby. But I've even noticed on some tops that I didn't, that I did keep, that I wasn't fond of that, that that's not a problem. So I guess maybe losing a few pounds has helped with that, but I still am self-conscious in, you know, the belly area. But so far, these tops are not doing that. So um, not bad. I like the color. It's a great, like, fall, winter color. Now, this is where I said, oh, Taylor, these are 1822 denim, which I told her I don't like. 
And both of these pair of jeans are 1822 denim. She even said in a note, you know, I, I'm making a note on your account and I won't send them to you. Two pair. Ugh. So right there, I lose any kind of um, discount. Because there'd be no way. Even if I wanted to keep these three tops, I lose out on the discount. I think I'm going to have to send them a note because that's not fair to me. She promised me she wasn't going to send me this brand. So 1822 denim, Christine Resilk High Rise Crop, Indigo Size 10. Why do I want a crop? It's winter. Ugh. I just don't like them. So here's the pants. Crop skinny. Where's the bag? There is like, you know, whiskering on the front and wear and all that. Ugh. I mean, I'll try them on. I'll take my jeans off. My jeans are way more comfortable. These are Jag jeans that I kept from Wantable, I think. And I love them so much. I mean, they're just, they're light. Was never a fan of like the light wash. But these have that worn look and they're brand new. And they're so comfy. So comfortable. I'm so glad I have them. But I love Jag jeans. So let's give these a try. I'll be back. Eighteen twenty-two denim, Christine Resilk, which I don't know what that means. High-rise crop jean, indigo size ten, fifty-two dollars. <laughs> no, I wouldn't pay twenty-two dollars for these jeans. I, th I, there's absolutely nothing I like about them. First of all, they're they're a little big. They're like there's a gap. It feels like I have like a jagging on. There, I I just don't like them. I mean, they are ugh, crop. I can't even with these. I don't like they're saggy in the crotch. I, I, they're just thin and like jagging material. I, if I'm wearing denim, like I have my jag jeans on, I want denim. I don't want the feels like denim. I don't want the jagging. I'll wear a legging or I'm wearing a jean. These are these fall in between. I just, and I don't like the coloring of these anyway. I would rather have the little bit darker up here instead of the darker at the bottom, but the little bit of the darker up here. I, I Like I can feel them sagging in the crotch. So these are a big no, and I am extremely, extremely annoyed because here is another pair of 1822 denim. Berlin low rise vintage skinny jean dark gray 10 petite. They have a cuff on them, which I'm generally not a fan of. I don't know if I can take them down. Yeah, I can. I'm not a fan of cuff jeans. I just, these feel slightly better, slightly like more of a jean. I just don't like this brand. So I will, and the same thing, like whiskering in the front, the creasing and stuff. So I will give these a try, but I know I'm not going to like them. So these are the 1822 denim, Berlin low rise vintage skinny jean, dark gray temp petite. These are $50. These are like that dark gray black. Now these don't feel horrible. So I don't know if I, you know, I, I mean, I'm not keeping them and I'll tell you, show you why in a minute. Um, they actually don't feel bad. I like the color and the cuff actually, no, I can't, my back is killing me. Actually, the, I don't like the cuff, so I would uncuff them and then they would be too long. But if you like cuff jeans, they would be fine. Here is the back. I mean, they really are comfortable, but I'd like to show you how big they are. And these would have to clearly be an eight, not a 10. Um, oops, we're not picking them up. So these would have to be an eight petite, a 10 petite is way too big. And I'm not paying $50 for 1822 denim. I didn't pay $50 for my Jag jeans at Wantable. So both of these jeans are, are a no. I, I, I wouldn't mind these. They would have to be an eight petite, first of all. Because these feel more like a denim 
one, they would be too long because I would have to uncuff them. I don't like a cuff on my jeans. It shortens my leg. Obviously, if I took the cuff down, they're going to be way too long. And uh, I'm not, I am not hemming jeans or having them hemmed. You can tell that it was done and I don't like it. Um, it's a shame because I like the dark gray color. I need, like, I would love another pair of dark gray to black jeans. I think I only have one pair of black jeans and they're more like the, in the summertime, like if you have like a flip flop on or just like a, a not even a, cause I don't wear a sandal. Like sometimes I'll just throw like a mule sneaker on, you know, no socks or anything like that. And they're fine because they're the perfect length, but with, you know, in the winter time, like they're just that tad too short because they technically are a crop, but because I'm short, they fall, but they don't hit where like my normal jeans hit. These I really do like, and I'm not exchanging them for an eight. Uh, absolutely not because I'm not paying $50 for, for this brand. I honestly didn't even pay $50 for my Jag ones, but that's, you know, besides the point, um, I know she said she saw my note about wanting to add some jeans, you know, especially black, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, and I added two pair of denim from 1822 denim. And I read the note right before I tried these on. I'm like, what were you thinking, Taylor? You told me, I think either 50, the last one or the two before 55, because 56 I never got, right? So it's either 55 or 57. I left a note, no more 1822 denim. I don't like them. Now, this pair I like, but these, would, like I said, would have to be an eight petite, and they're still going to be too long because of the cuff. And I'm, I could, you know, you could cut them and do the raw hem, and I would do that to make them fit. But, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of other dark gray jeans out there that, you know, $50 is not that bad, but um, these are just a no. One, they're just way too big. I am not going through the exchange process, even though it's easy and quick. Her hair stuck to my lip gloss. Thank you. Um, I, if I, I don't love the brand. Even if, like I said, these are not horrible. Let me get back. And I, I do love this top. That's why I've been leaving it on. It's so comfortable. So let me um, put my own clothes back on and be right back with you. Left this top on because I really do like this top. So, this is fix number 58. I'm just going to go right into the, uh, the box totals. Stylus picks are $220, which is a little high for me. I don't like my box to be that high. Um, buy all discount of 25%, I would say $55, and that makes my box total $165. I really do like this shirt in the dark green from Soul and Skies, $48. The jeans are big, no, both pair, absolutely not. I like this, I just would have to really think, would I only wear it with a pair of gray leggings or with like dress pants? I don't know, I like this top, so I'm gonna think about this one. And this was 41 Hawthorne. Uh, that's $40. So right there, it's $88 um, for this top and this top. I do like this, but it's uh, $30 for a t-shirt, but it's comfy. It fits nice. Um, I mean, that's, I don't know. I mean, I'm not keeping the jeans for sure. So, you know, probably by the time they, because I think they tax you, you know, probably be around $120. That's a lot just for three items. So if I were to keep anything, because if, if I'm not going to keep the three tops, because that's about $120, right? Four, eight, nine, ten, that's 110 118 so about $120 then they're going to tax it so it's going to be more than that um shipping is free but they'll put tax on it so 120 130 dollars the whole box is 165 but I don't like them jeans and one pair is too big 
if the one pair fit me perfectly and I just had it scissor that, you know, cut the end off and I don't even want to, but the other pair that I'd have to automatically just give to charity, give away, I'm not selling stuff like that. I know you guys are going to put it on Poshmark. Now I can't be bothered with all that. I don't have time. Um, no, we're not. I'm not doing that. So by Taylor sending me two pair of denim that she said she wouldn't send, I said, I don't like, she blew any chance of me keeping all five items and getting a discount. So I am going to send them um, a nice little uh, email through their contact and be like, you know, at no fault of my own, I just lost a discount. Um, if they would have been better jeans, even at these prices, I might have considered it for 165 because I like all three tops. But can't do that. And even if I had to exchange, like if the black pair were, I could exchange fine but the blue pair I just like all together it's not even like all right I could wear them and just use them for around the house or you know put a longer top on so you see less of the jean you know could I work with it yes I don't like them jeans at all <coughs> the feel the cut was too saggy in the crotch and then the dark gray ones are just you need to be an eight petite they're just way too big and too long so as much as I love all three tops and because I might not have any kind of discount, I would have to say it's winter time. It's January. I'm going to say then no to the t-shirt and probably no to this. I mean, I have plenty of tops like this that I could still wear with dress pants and leggings. Even though this one is way more like of a casual material. I do like this, but I'm not willing to spend um, $40 for casual. I could wear a sweatshirt. I'm around the house. Like, it's not, it wouldn't be necessary without any kind of discount. I do really like this top. It's very comfortable. I could wear this with leggings. I could wear this with jeans, whatever. And in the spring and the fall, when we're still in between and I'm still wearing shorts, something like this on it in the evening, like get out of a t-shirt and put something like this on in the evening because it's chillier, I think would work well. I think the zipper hole, zipper thing is odd, so... Like, I'm not sold, but if I was going to keep one, it would be this one. And if I were to change my mind on this one, then I would say I would keep probably keep this. Just because, I mean, I, like I said, but I wouldn't wear this with denim. I don't like that look with denim. But with leggings, you know, black, dark gray with dark leggings or with, you know, dress pants, black jeans. I do have gray jeans, but I don't, they're just a different shade. So I don't, I'm funky when it comes to mixing like shades like that but that is something to think about so it's either going to be that top for 41 Hawthorne or this top um but I'll see what they say about maybe because this shouldn't have happened that they'll offer me a discount then I might keep the three tops like we'll see I, I mean it can't hurt to push and ask um, it's not like I just joined Stitch Fix. I've been with them for, you know, it's Stitch Fix 58. I know some people are way up there, but, you know, I get a box or two every month, practically. So, um, I'm a little disappointed in Taylor for this, that, um, you know, without a discount, I would probably just keep one. This one or the dark gray one. And if they don't offer me anything whatsoever not even like well we'll give you a credit to use towards it you know maybe not maybe not this fix but we'll give you a credit for the next box something like that i might keep both but we'll have to see what stitch fix says so let me know your thoughts i'd love to know thanks for watching and hang until the end with me i greatly greatly appreciate it have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in tomorrow's video bye for now